For anybody who does not know what Shortcuts are, it's an automation platform that is available for iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. So I wanted to show you how Shortcuts play a very significant role in my daily usage of my phone. So the best way to showcase that would be to create a video such as a day in a life with Shortcuts. And in this video, I will try to show you as many Shortcuts as I can and how I use them on a day-to-day -day basis. And hopefully by the end of this video, you were able to pick a few Shortcuts that you can incorporate in your life. And with that, your iPhone will make your life a little more easy than it already does. I had to start this day fairly early today and just like the rest of us, my phone is my alarm clock. After turning off my alarm, I use my out of bed shortcut. It starts by turning off any pending alarms, then it turns off the reduced white point setting and adjusts the brightness to an acceptable level to make sure I don't burn my cornea as the first thing in the morning. Just a side note, most of the upcoming shortcuts have been covered in other videos in detail. I will link to as many as I can in the description below if you guys are interested. Anyways, before heading to the kitchen, I put on my AirPods and run my boot up sequence shortcut. The weather for today is going to be clear. Other than giving me a brief overview of my day, it also runs my birthday today shortcut that sends a message automatically if it finds a birthday in my contact lists. So some might even say that I'm a coffee snob, but this early in the morning, I prefer making chai for myself. As I shuffle around in the kitchen, I'm making sure that I use the morning app shortcut on my phone. The simple menu-based shortcut ensures that I don't get distracted. If I don't use this shortcut, I've had mornings where I just open TikTok or even YouTube and waste my morning away. The shortcut provides me with a list of options that a past and a less sleepy version of myself thought were essential for my morning routine. I start with my play news action, which takes me to my news filter on Pocket Cast and starts playing the first episode on the list. As I get caught up with the news for the day, my tea has come to a rolling boil, which can only mean it is ready to be served. This is probably the most peaceful part of my day as I sit down with my tea and go through my prompt based journal shortcut. The shortcut is heavily inspired. I mean, it is pretty much copied from the 5 seconds journal by Mel Robbins. If you guys don't know what it is, it is one of the best journal templates that I've ever seen in my life. As I finish my tea, it is almost time for a mindfulness practice using my meditation shortcut. I'm still trying to build a habit of meditation, but I'm not as consistent as I would like. So basically the shortcut picks up a random video from a pre-decided list of 10 minute meditation videos and plays it on YouTube. After meditation I'm ready to get some work done. I use my morning app shortcut again to play some bamboo flute music in the background when I get started on writing a script for my next video. I start by running my save timer shortcut which starts a timer for YouTube script on toggle using Timery. The combination of these two apps along with the shortcuts is the only way I've been able to successfully track my time. While working on the script, I had an idea for another video, so I pulled up my add information shortcut on Spotlight. The shortcut asked me to type in the information first, and then I can decide where this information needs to go. Hoping for a change of scenery, I've decided to go to a coffee shop to continue the script writing process. I pack all my charges in my nifty tech pouch and grab my iPad and I'm ready to head out. My car is nothing special, but it gives me access to CarPlay, which I can use as an automation trigger for running my CarPlay connected shortcut. This shortcut starts a driving timer on Timery, the time tracking app from before. It just helps me keep a track of how much time I've spent behind a wheel without being able to do much but listen to some amazing music. I've been into Punjabi music for almost all my life, I mean it makes sense, but here's a little bit of what I'm listening to nowadays. So I'm back home and in an effort to keep this 100% genuine and not trying to sound fake amazing, I want to tell you that I didn't finish the script. I just got distracted and hungry and now I'm home trying to prepare some food. I play a video on YouTube from my subscriptions and with the help of YouTube PIP shortcut, I move that to a floating window. This allows me to kind of finish my food, watch YouTube videos while interacting with you all in the comment section. It is late afternoon and I'm going to edit my video that I've already shot, but before I can do that, I have to organize the B-roll that I've captured. It can be boring, so I, use, so I use my Play My Music shortcut to play a personalized mix for me on YouTube Music. After sorting through the files, I'm kind of drained and I'm ready to take a break, so I'm going to address the video idea from earlier. I start by adding it as a project to the Things 3 app using my Video Project shortcut. 
and I'm using Things 3 recently instead of to do list for my YouTube projects. This way I just get to keep my YouTube related tasks very iOS centric and my day job and my personal life are still very cross platform compatible. I was looking through a few photos I captured today and I want to share this picture as a panorama on my Instagram. I use this Instagram panorama shortcut that I found on Reddit to crop it into three different squares that will allow me to create a really good panoramic post on my Instagram. And here is how it ended up looking on Instagram. I know a lot of people are not posting photos and it's all about the reels these days but I still like how Instagram deals with panoramic photos. Other than controlling lights and switches I don't really use any shortcuts after that and the day has finally come to an end. I think it was a decently productive day and now I can use my going to sleep shortcut to enable my reduced white points setting. The shortcut will also turn on the alarms for next morning automatically. The shortcut also helps me not having to deal with the AM PM issue that people talk about. And the final action of the day is the NFC tag on my bed to turn off the lights as my day comes to an end. So that was a fairly decent list of shortcuts that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, but that was not at all comprehensive because it was a weekend and I didn't really use work-related or meeting-related shortcuts. So maybe a weekday in the life with shortcuts will be a video that you're interested in. So let me know. I uh, will be more than happy to make a part two of this video. Thanks everybody for watching. This is Guy.